Hey everybody, welcome back. Here I'm going to do a run through on how to set this thing up on Spectrum JR. Um, because it seems like I'm about the only one that's figured it out so far. So, type, acro, oops, not that one, wing type, normal, everything is normal. Get that, get it plugged in here. You can see on the orange RX here what channels I have things going into. I covered all this in my other video, but I'll do another run through um, so people can see what's up here. I had to reserve, uh, reserve, <laughs> had to reverse the ailerons. I did sub trim the aileron and elevator on mine. Travel adjust, you will have to adjust aileron and elevator again so those are the two channels i used and those things are some of the things that make the arms go up because the whole point here is you want them both to go down you want that to go down you want that to go down you don't want them to go up mine does a little bit but i don't know in flight i know better than to push up so anyways we'll keep going through here um is really it's very basic Elevator to aileron mix. Which one is this? Oh, this is my elevator. Elevator to aileron. So this is mixing the elevator channel to the aileron channel. Obviously, you can see when I push the stick up, it's flat because you do not want it to go up. So just simple, the middle point, run it all the way up, you know. So Go along with that, we have an aileron to elevator mix. That's what makes things work. So the aileron, you can see that one runs this one. So when I pull the channel this way, it doesn't go up. But when I do it the aileron way, it goes down. So that's telling it not to do that. If you just simply copy what I'm showing you in here to your radio, It'll get you in the air. It's it's not that complicated. Now, I did a rudder to aileron, so I can work on launching since I launch with this hand because you got to run your throttle with the other one because I launch myself and fly myself. If I need a little correction, I can do it with this stick. Um, don't pay any attention to that. And then I did the rudder to elevator to make the rudder stick work. Hopefully I don't lose you guys there, but that's really it that I had to do. So again, mix one, elevator to aileron. That's what makes them both go down when you pull it. And then you want it so it doesn't go up when you push up on the stick. Then the next mix, aileron to elevator. And this keeps that arm from going up when you do that. That makes it go down. It's really that simple. Then, like I said, these other ones, don't pay attention to those unless you want to do, I made them, mixed them into the rudder. You don't need to do that. I probably shouldn't even show you. But So, you got those two mixes. Your travel adjust. Your sub trims. And your reverse switch. Okay. I set up the radio on GB Linden's DX6. Use the exact same thing, the exact same settings. It got me really close. I can't remember. I had to maybe do one tiny little thing different. I don't remember now because I did it at the field in about five minutes. Um, but everything I just showed you will cross over to your DX6, DX7, whatever DX you got. So if you follow that, copy the settings into yours. Test it before you put the arms on because you don't want the arms to go flying up into here if it's off. So anyways, when you're not touching anything, the arms should be up. When you touch something, they should go down. And, you know, this one down will make it go to the left. This one down will make it go to the right. You don't want them to go up from what you would call neutral. So I hope that makes sense. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Um, if it's not clear enough, I'll try to do something else. So let me know what you think. Like, comment, and subscribe.